This episode is brought to you by Friends of Fiction and viewers like you. Thank you. And I say, hey! Arthur explains how DW demands everything be equal and balanced, which is nice until you realize she's the one holding the scale. DW is using a playdate with Emily as an excuse to stroke her ego. She brags that all her toys are better. DW's pride is put in jeopardy when she discovers Emily has a French nanny. Instead of telling her mom why she's upset, DW comes up with a scheme to get a French nanny of her own. DW is having dinner with her family, and the brain, for some reason, when her parents tell her she's going to start getting allowance of 75 cents a week, which nowadays would be roughly $1.25, not too shabby. DW plans to flex her cash to her friends, as she believes all relationships are monetarily transactional. However, she soon realizes her friends already get allowances and earn much more than she does. DW resolves to correct this problem by billing her parents for all the money she believes she deserves. The Reed parents tell her to fuck off. DW decides to go the opposite route and become a total kiss-ass. She does all the chores in the house, working herself sick and breaking half the dishes in the process. She tries to goad her mother into raising her allowance and fails miserably. DW pretends to be sick so she can stay home from preschool. She tries calling the mayor to demand everyone get paid the same amount of money, which actually isn't a terrible idea the more I think about it. DW pesters Arthur and his friends to find out how much their allowances are, which leads to the group having a fight that threatens to end their friendship for good. DW realizes she can just lie to her friends about how much money she has even though none of them actually give a shit. Mrs. Reed tells DW she should be grateful for what she has and shouldn't be jealous of those who have more. The lesson goes right over DW's head as she struts into class acting like she's the Grand Fromage, which is French for pretentious bitch. DW offers to buy milk tickets for everyone in class, until Miss Morgan points out that all her money is fake. DW's ruse is exposed and has a full breakdown in the middle of class. Emily takes pity on DW and offers to share her allowance so they can stay friends. D.W. demands to see the money first. The Tibbles point out that Emily is more generous than D.W., leading D.W. to try to be more generous than Emily. D.W. quickly backtracks and says they should each keep their own allowance. D.W. promises to never obsess over money again, only to immediately break her promise and hit up her grandma for her extra allowance. And we never see Emily's nanny again after this episode, because she was probably murdered by D.W. so she and Emily could truly be equal. Let's review. DW became green with envy at the thought that her friend might have something she doesn't. When her parents started giving her an allowance, her first instinct was to flaunt it to her friends. When she realized her friends make more money than her, she tried to extort her parents for a higher allowance. She prompted a fight among Arthur's friends which threatened to end their friendship for good. DW ignored her mother's advice and proceeded to flaunt her imaginary wealth to her classmates, only to make a fool of herself. And even after she made up with her friends, she still tried to go over her parents' heads and extort her grandma for extra cash. F-U-D-W. This episode is brought to you by Friends of Fiction. Friends of Fiction is a student-developed and produced sitcom for intermediate and advanced television production at Missouri State University. The series follows a failing detective as he tries to avoid financial ruin by renting out rooms in his house to a cast of colorful individuals. You can follow the series' development by subscribing to Friends of Fiction on YouTube and donating to their crowdfunding campaign. And now, back to Arthur! And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Next time on FUDW. 